What's up everyone? The second power of veto ceremony has taken place and Izzy says she wants to kill a fellow house guest. Yes, we're not even in the third week yet. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Now, right before we get started folks, if you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button and also... I'm just saying this to my normal viewers as well, hit the like button. The YouTube algorithm is like the Bermuda Triangle and any like that you can throw my way it really, really helps me out. So please hit the like button and also share and subscribe and all that stuff. All the buzzwords, guys, do it now and we'll jump right into the update. Jumping right into the power of veto ceremony. Now, uh, if you all didn't know, Heism did win the power of veto the other day and of course he had a day or two to... You know, decide if you wanted to use it or not. Of course, he's fully controlling his week, apart from the vote. Um, we'll get on to that. Because um, he's the head of household. He nominated Cameron Riley. He won the power of veto. He gets to decide the final nominees. So, first of all, a massive congratulations to him for actually taking full control of his week. However, and also massive congratulations goes to Heisem for sealing his own fate in the game. For doing too much, too freaking fast. Out of all the major main comps for Big Brother this year so far, and we're looking at HOH and Vito, he's won three quarters of them. Not only that, but his style of play and the way he talks to people when he has the power is brilliant to watch and so like live feed gold. But for the people who are at the other end of it, they do not like it at all. They do not like the way Heisem talks at all. You know, like, people find him to be very arrogant and kind of his way or the highway. And that has came to bite him in the arse. He is most likely going to be evicted pre-jury at this point. I was saying the other day, he's going to, you know, Derek X, Michael his way into you know, the jury, because of those people who win comp after comp after comp after comp, but I'm starting to see a lot of people saying now, you know, I don't know if he's going to get that far, and I've got to say, I think I'm agreeing, because a lot of people, I think, going into next week, want to target Heism, so he better have his comp game on next week, or otherwise, we could be seeing him head out the door. He decided at the veto ceremony not to use the power of veto, leaving Cameron and Riley on the block. So, folks, the second evictee of Big Brother 25 will either be Cameron or Riley. Let me know in the comments section below who you would like it to be. Now, we have a good old-fashioned Big Brother vote flip in motion. So, Heisen wants to target Riley for eviction, and then there's started to be a few rumblings of people who think that Cameron might be the better option to go. Myself included. I don't like Cameron. That's just my take. But anyway, I think Sari was a big... We talked about this yesterday. Sari is a big person who uh, doesn't want Cameron to stay. I think she realises that keeping Riley around is more beneficial to her game than, than keeping Cameron around. Uh, and this has kind of transpired where it's spreading across the alliance slowly but not quite it's weird it's weird it's, it's a slow motion and obviously there's a lot of days to go until thursday still and my dog's barking he's definitely rooting for a vote flip as well he's on my side thanks douglas um but yes we've got izzy who if y'all watch the feeds izzy just never stops talking she goes on and on and on and on and, on. and it's it's kind of brilliant it's low-key but high-key brilliant anyway izzy has started to be convinced by sari that keeping riley um might actually be the way to go and when you've got somebody with a big voice like izzy who agrees that's when chaos is going to ensue izzy told uh, mimi at one point micole she gets nicknamed mimi um and it was funny because there was a, a little clip that went that did the rounds on twitter because they're in the bathroom and izzy's like saying to, to mimi about the vote flip and then mimi just turns around and just goes no nope, no nope. and then <laughs> because there's so much chaos in this house right now and it's brilliant so as of right now a vote flip is trying to be pushed onto that side. Um, I think we've got a couple of people thinking, you know, maybe maybe a couple of people going, I don't know if this vote flip's a great idea. I don't, I don't think Jared thinks it's the best idea to blindside Heism. Um, the thing is, and I think Mimi's kind of thinking that as well. She was in the storage room doing a bit and like ranting out loud because she was just thinking like, why can't my alliance keep it together for just seven days? And... She's kind of right. You know, she said that Heism and Riley are basically one in the same to her. Heism is just as vulnerable as Riley right now. And you know what? I've got to say, 
I think I agree with that. As much as I love a vote flipping Big Brother, blindsiding Heisen right now might be pointless. Because Heisen's going to be a massive target anyway going into next week. And Riley also has like an army of people behind her. Whereas Cameron doesn't have that. So if you keep Cameron around, he hasn't got that many people who will go to bat for him. Whereas if you keep Riley around, I feel like I'm having my own epiphanies as I'm doing this update right now. If you keep Riley around, then she's got lots of people who are going to be like, oh, I love Riley so much. Let's fight for her. Just take out Riley this week, who's got an army, and then Heism next week, and that's two. Gone. That buys you two more weeks if you're a player in the Big Brother house. But I guess it all matters on how things are going to go down for the next few days until Thursday because so many interactions can happen and fights can happen and distrust and loyalty and all these magnificent factors that make up Big Brother can play a part in this. But yeah, as of right now, we are potentially looking at a vote flip and I kind of love it. I'm living for this because it gives me so much to update on and while I might not necessarily agree with the flip, I love talking about it. Now, for those of you who have watched the feeds, you will know that Izzy is essentially Ceri's lapdog. She follows her around the house 24-7. Um, just to give the people who don't watch the feeds an idea, she follows her around the house 24-7 and is always saying every single last thing she is feeling to Ceri. It's like it's weird because on the first night when Izzy realised that Ceri and Jared were mother and daughter, uh, mother and daughter, mother and son, um... I immediately thought, okay, well, Izzy's got the upper hand of Suri. Somehow, Izzy has totally lost that hand, and suri has got the upper hand of her. Because she just tells her everything. Anyways, Izzy's, you know, talking about Heism's really going out of control right now, you know, and she's venting and venting and venting. You can tell Suri's just like, Suri's great socially, so she just goes along with it, but she's tired. She's tired. But, yeah, she says, also... I wanna effing kill Cameron. I think she said she didn't say it in like a serious like kind of way, but like in a throwaway kind of way. Still, definitely headline news. Um, yeah, she really cannot stand Cameron at all. I think he was. She was talking about how. You know, he's saying, like, uh, she said, Cameron's like, oh, you know, my daughter really responds to disappointment or something like that. I didn't catch Cameron say that, but that's what Izzy said about Cameron. And then Izzy was just, like, saying out loud, shut the up, um, to that point. And I think Sari was like, yeah, he always has to add, like, something. It's probably kind of true, you know, adding something about his daughter all the time. And But, like, parents do that, right? But I feel like maybe, like, people just think, like, it comes across, like, Cameron's kind of on some kind of power trip because of his other behaviour towards like Riley in the house and his controlling nature makes people kind of think like Ugh. and Saria Busy said she'd learned to just tune him out by now but Izzy hasn't learned to tune him out yet hence why she said she wants to effing kill him these are wild times in this big brother house and like I said the second eviction hasn't even taken place yet Expect the unexpected, and Izzy is serving that slogan on every single damn level. There's sometimes it's funny because I, you know, every single day when I come on to record my update, I'm thinking like, okay, maybe maybe we'll have a chill day today. You know, maybe it's just going to be game talk, and nobody says anything drastic. Boy, am I wrong! Every single damn day, there's something, and you know, I'm pretty sure if you go back on my channel, it's going to be. Izzy does this, Izzy does that, Izzy does this for at least half of the videos so far. I think suffice to say, Izzy is kind of live feeds gold. Because when people talk about, oh, the feeds are boring, the feeds are this, the feeds are that, at least Izzy is a character that's bringing a lot to the forefront and a lot to talk about for Big Brother fans every single day. But again, some of the things she's saying kind of make you go... Blue and Jared flirted for some time in the backyard and talking about partners and relationships and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think there's been a lot of suspicion online. People thinking, oh, you know, is Jared really into Blue? Because I, I, I don't necessarily think J Blue's into Jared, but Jared could really be into Blue. Because also there's a funny clip as well where when Jared gets up and walks away at the end of the conversation, Blue just kind of goes to herself like, talks too much. 
with that hand signal, which I thought was funny. I should probably say a lot about Blue's perception of Jared. And also, we need to remember, Jared's in the house with his mother. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I wouldn't necessarily want to be getting myself into a showmance if my mother was in the house. So, again, that's just me. And I think a lot of people would agree with that sentiment. Um, yeah. But it's not going to stop some harmless flirting, right? But it just so begs the question, is Blue actually into Jared? Or is just Jared into Blue? So, yes, I find it quite funny with the comparison of Izzy on uh, night one saying, I think Cameron's a serial killer, to her on night 13 saying, I want to effing kill Cameron. The Big Brother house is a strange place, folks. Anyway, I want to topic a conversation right now. Do y'all want the vote flip to happen? Because a vote flip is always in Big Brother, but sometimes the vote flip isn't the vote flip we want. For me, this is where I split it down the middle because the the vote flip doesn't make sense strategically here, but from a personal standpoint, seeing Cameron get blindsided would be wonderful on so many levels because I just don't like the guy. Um, but it doesn't really make sense. I'm just I'm going to, I'm interested in the conversations that are going to happen in the lead up to Thursday night and you know if we are going to see some blind blindsided faces on on a week 2 eviction um Heism really has rubbed people up the wrong way to get to a point where people want to blindside him on week 2 says a lot um because I think part of this blindside isn't necessarily all targeted at Cameron if it is going to happen I think a lot of it is targeted at annoyance and hatred towards Heism. Sari doesn't like Heism. Um, I don't think Corey's a massive fan of Heism. Izzy certainly doesn't like Heism. Um, a lot of the house. Riley doesn't like Heism. I don't think anyone really on that side. Jag, anyway. Heism's becoming public enemy number one in that house more than Cameron. So I feel like if a vote flip does happen, it's going to be probably targeted at Heism rather than at either of the nominees. But I would love to know what everybody else thinks. Do you think it makes logical sense? I don't. But would you like it to happen on a personal level? Because that's where it differs for me. There's definitely two sides to everything when it comes to Big Brother. There's game and there's personal. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Um, definitely more of a positive update today than it was yesterday. Um, and it's good to be talking about strategy and vote flips and all those things that beautiful when we think of Big Brother. It's great to be back. It's great to be talking about all these things. It's just great, folks, and I can't wait for Thursday night. Um, I hope everybody has had a great start to the week as well. A lot of greats going on right now. I hope everyone's had a great start to the week, um, and I want to thank you all for continuing to support the channel. It means the world to me. We are rolling onwards, nearly at 21,000 subscribers now, which we literally only last week hit 20,000, so thank you so much for nearly giving me a 1,000 in a week. That's very grateful very very grateful so thank you so freaking much guys um yeah uh i'll say as i usually do right now i hope everybody's staying safe staying positive and staying healthy out there and remember to be kind to one another but in the meantime please don't forget to like share comment subscribe do all of that wonderful stuff but until your next live feed update i've been your host tom vasey good night